I was born and raised in Chicago, and basically I lived in a ghetto. Everybody around me was Jewish, so every memory I have is going to be connected somehow to being Jewish. We lived in an apartment, and virtually every Friday, there was a knock on the door, and there was somebody asking for money. And my mother gave everyone. She cursed like mad once she shut the door because she knew the majority of them were good for nothings. But she gave because she said of the one person that might really need it. And I think that's probably the strongest memory I have. They never had a lot, but whatever we had, we always shared. I used to shop at Learners and he was the manager. So I got a job there because I thought he was awfully cute. He showed absolutely no interest because he wouldn't date an employee. So he was transferred and he called me from Minneapolis. And we had a very short, long distance relationship and we married about four months later. My mother was not happy. My father loved his family and he was there for us unconditionally all the time, no matter what, no matter when, it didn't make any difference. He loved to help people. My earliest memory of my father and my mom, because they were a, a team, was somebody needs help, you can help them. If you have a dollar, you can give them 10 cents. It's a choice that you make and it always drove him insane that people who could didn't. He's always been so supportive and so passionate about the grandkids. Judaism, it's important to both my parents that they embrace and be proud of their Jewish heritage and that was his whole reason for everything that he did. You have to learn to be proud of who you are. We've done tremendous things for this world. I think it's our responsibility to ensure our gifts that we give today for the future. I think if we can continue to find the spark that ignites each child, then in 30 years, those kids are gonna get it. They're gonna understand that they too have the responsibility, that they love the Jewish community, that it's, it is something that is passed down door to door. And if these kids understand that, then they will understand the responsibility that they have that's passed down from generation to generation and they will want to do the right thing. You want your kids to turn around and do the right thing and to do it willingly and happily and that's what you want for the future uh, generation. Want them to pay it forward. Mm -hmm.